Welcome to Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel. My name is Denise Bells Chubb and I'm the President and CEO. As many of you remember, we opened our doors in October of 2012. The hospital was designed to promote health and wellness. Due to the tremendous growth of the community and the acceptance of the hospital, we have had the need to expand. We are expanding our ED suites, our OR suites, and our inpatient beds, growing from 83 inpatient beds up to 145. Since our opening, we have added many additional services, such as our health and wellness center, our women's center, and our robotic surgery program. We are so excited to share our expansion with you today as we continue to grow and meet the needs of this community. Let's go on inside. Hi, I'm Kim Clausen, the Director of Cardiology here at Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel. Welcome to our second cardiac catheterization and electrophysiology lab. As part of our expansion, we added a second lab in March 2016, which now allows us to dedicate this room to electrophysiology procedures, or EP. Like our original cath lab, this one is outfitted with the latest technology, which allows for a variety of EP procedures peripheral vascular, and cardiac catheterization procedures. This lab has the latest EP, diagnostic, and interventional equipment, which includes three-dimensional mapping of the electrical activity of the heart, intracardiac ultrasound, 50-inch monitor for optimal visualization of multiple images on one screen, the latest fluoroscopy technology, and the St. Jude Medical EP Workmate system. We perform many types of complex EP procedures. We have our staff cross-trained to work in both labs so our cardiologists and patients are supported at all times. This is our cardiac prep and recovery unit located directly across from our cath lab suites. This unit is eight beds. Here is where we perform pre-admission testing, prep for procedures, and recovery from all cath and EP procedures. Patients who are staying overnight move directly across to our brand new cardiac observation unit to one of eight private rooms. These two units have been intentionally designed to be connected to the ER and the cath lab suites for better patient care. Welcome to our emergency department. In October of 2012, we opened with 18 emergency rooms. Now with our expansion, our ER has nearly doubled in size. This is our interactive children's waiting area, anchored by our 900 gallon reef aquarium designed with our youngest patients in mind. This child-friendly environment provides a helpful distraction during some of the most stressful times. We recently updated the decor and the games in this area. Florida Hospital West Florida Division was very excited to announce our partnership with Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in August of 2016. With this partnership, we have adopted pediatric clinical protocols from Johns Hopkins All Children's Standards of Care, protocols that have been developed and proven to be the most effective, efficient, and the best care for your children. Now let's take a look inside the ER. In 2015, Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel began a provider-first ER model which means that our patients see a physician or an ARNP at the beginning of their ER experience, pushing obstacles like paperwork and other processes to the end of the ER experience so that you can begin receiving tests and treatment as soon as possible. The hospital has been very busy, so we are very excited to nearly double the number of emergency rooms and add 62 patient rooms to better serve those who are admitted to the hospital. Our emergency department is now home to 35 all private treatment rooms. With our expanded ER, we have added another nurse's station, so their staff remains at the center of patient care. And our state-of-the-art imaging is dedicated to the emergency department and strategically placed within the department and only steps away from the ambulance entrance. Our emergency department is home to a digital x-ray and 120 channel CT which has a decorative mural to provide a calm and healing environment. Along with our expansion, we have added a variety of new technology throughout the hospital to continue to provide our community with the latest advancements in medical and patient safety. 
we've added a biometric patient identification that is available throughout the hospital and in the ER. The biometric patient identification technology links a patient's biometric information to their medical record by scanning a patient's palm to capture their biometric vein pattern and link it to the identifiers. This is especially helpful if a patient comes into the ER who is unresponsive, cannot speak, or unconscious. Welcome to our new inpatient wing. We are currently on the third floor of our new expansion. This wing has been designed specifically to take care of women, with 20 private rooms all designed with women in mind. I'm currently standing in the nurse's station, which has been intentionally placed in the heart of the unit so that our nurses have quick access to all of our patient rooms. We're gonna catch up with Stephanie Meads, one of our nurse managers, who's gonna go through some of the very fine details of this wing. Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us today. I understand we have some new technology that you're gonna to explain to us. I do, thank you, Denise. This digital screen provides both staff and family members with useful information, such as the physician is in seeing the patient or the family member is asking to not be disturbed. It also provides information such as precautions. With our expansion, Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel is now home to 145 spacious all private rooms. You'll notice the 42 inch flat screen TV, which features Get Well Services all in one entertainment and educational system. This helps patients to be able to look up home medications, research their diagnosis, also allows for them to watch movies. GetWell is also integrated with AeroScout. This system allows for us to monitor who has come in to see the patient with both a name and a face of the physician or the staff member visiting. This system also allows family members to track that care team. One of the procedures here at Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel is the deep flap, also known as a tummy tuck with breast reconstruction. This procedure was designed for breast cancer survivors and can be in conjunction with or after a mastectomy. The recovery for this procedure requires the room temperature to be elevated. With that in mind, they've also connected an additional room with its own thermostat so visitors can stay over comfortably. All of our patient rooms feature a sleeper sofa, which also has a movable table and also a single sleeper, which provides a comfortable night's rest for your visitor. And visiting hours are open 24-7 because we know family and friends are just as important for the healing process. Now we're going to take another look at a special room on this wing called our bariatric room. This wing features two oversized rooms to accommodate patients over 400 pounds. From wider doorways to heavy duty beds and toilets and overall more space. As you can see, this room is also equipped with a motorized lift that can more easily and safely lift and transport patients to and from the bathroom or to and from a wheelchair. This room is also a negative pressure room, keeping airborne contaminants contained to the room. I'd like to point out some other neat features of our new wing. First of all, we've aligned our lighting system along the sides of the walls. This prevents the lights from shining directly into our patient's eyes as they travel down the hallways. As we know, a hospital can be very, very noisy and our patients need their rest. So we've developed a sound masking system that provides a white noise to cover the sounds of the staff working out in the hallways while patients have their rest in their rooms. Another feature is our integrated door sweep. As the patient door closes and seals, the sweep drops down, preventing noise from traveling inside the room. This all allows for a more relaxing, comforting environment for our patients to recover. Another feature is our lean closets, which allow our environmental service staff to place linens and towels into these closets without having to enter a patient room, all providing for a nice quiet atmosphere for our patients to recover. Welcome to our new inpatient gym. As part of our expansion, We've added a 560 square foot rehabilitation gym in order to aid in the recovery after surgery. The gym will serve our inpatients while we continue to offer outpatient therapy to the community in the Wellness Plaza building next door. The new gym will allow us to better meet the needs of the patients in our hospital by improving their strength, balance, and overall functional mobility 
before they transition out of the hospital. Now we're on the second floor in our state-of-the-art surgical suite, where we've added four new operating rooms, allowing us to accommodate additional physicians and procedures. We have also added a shelled space for five more operating rooms in the future. For those of you who don't already know, Florida Hospital Wesley Chapel recently received a Center of Excellence certification for our hip and knee replacement program from DNV. We are the first in the country to receive this new designation, and our excellence here in the Surgical Services Department is a large reason for that. Now let's take a look at one of our brand new operating rooms. Welcome to one of our new operating rooms. These rooms are ergonomically designed, creating a better flow and allowing us to operate as efficiently as possible. This is our surgical lighting in what we call a boom. This new lighting is brighter and puts off less heat. These booms are easy to move to accommodate different types of surgery. And nearly all of these elements can be controlled by the nurse at this nurse's station which is important for infection prevention and overall efficiency. The DaVinci XI is a robotic surgical system and is used to perform minimally invasive surgery. This forearm robot offers greater range of motion and reach and can reduce complications and recovery times for patients in many types of surgery. With the newest robot comes the single site platform where the only incision is made through the belly button for surgeries like hysterectomies and gallbladder removal. The DaVinci XI is also compatible with the intuitive Firefly fluorescence imaging vision system. This technology enables surgeons to better view anatomy, blood flow, and identify tumors and have more successful outcomes. And the DaVinci XI is paired with this fully integrated operating table that allows the medical team to adjust the patient during surgery without removing any instrumentation. We are excited to announce that we are now home to a Stryker Mako technology, which is a robotic arm-assisted surgery system used in orthopedic procedures such as partial knee replacements and total hips. This technology offers many benefits, including smaller incisions, less scarring, less pain, shorter hospital stays, and a more rapid recovery. I'd like to talk a little bit about our new germ-eliminating UV disinfection technology the TrueD Smart UV system. We've added the TrueD to our already stringent disinfection protocols as a proactive measure to continue protecting our patients. This device works by generating UV light energy that modifies the DNA or the RNA structure of an infectious cell. And it is the only portable UV disinfection system. We're excited about the addition of this equipment to continue to maintain our outstanding infection prevention standards. This expansion is more than additional emergency rooms, patient rooms, and operating rooms. It's our commitment to better serve you and your family and to continue to deliver the highest quality of care right here in our neighborhood. Thank you for joining us on this inside virtual look into our expansion. I hope that you will join me in our live question and answer sessions from now until 11 a.m.